Welcome back to part two of our ESG investing video, where we'll be looking at two companies that we see fulfilling their economic, social, and governance goals. If you haven't seen our first explanation video yet, make sure to click the pop-up link here, where you can also find that in the description. But without further ado, let's get right back into it. Here are two companies that we think fit the ESG stock description, one big and one small. Salesforce. It's probably not the first company that comes to mind, but Salesforce has rigorous sustainability development goals in place. The company boasts the number three spot for Glassdoor's best places to work in 2022 list in the UK, as well as claiming the fourth spot in the Just 100 2022 list, which is an ESG-focused analysis recently published by CNBC. The software as a service joint is a net zero business, meaning it balances the amount of greenhouse gas that is produced and removed from the atmosphere. It's also a founding partner of 1T.org, an organization dedicated to conserving, restoring, and replanting 1 trillion trees by 2030. It also pairs the sustainability goals of entirely other businesses. Salesforce has developed the Sustainability Cloud, an analytics platform that other businesses can use to track their own sustainability initiatives and become net zero, just like the software joint. Heading over to the financials, things aren't looking too bad either. Salesforce reported 7.2 billion in revenue in Q3 results, representing a 24% year-over-year growth rate, and the company has stayed consistent in the past several quarters in achieving a 73 to 74% growth profit margin. That healthy growth, combined with the company's sticky business model, along with its acquisition of communications firm Slack last year, makes Salesforce look like a strong pick for the years ahead. Oatly, it's like milk, but made for humans. That's according to Oatly's packaging, at least. Oatly is an oat milk producer that is disrupting the dairy industry. While you might laugh at that, dairy farms are one of the biggest contributors to CO2 emissions and greenhouse gases around the world. Oatly's entire business was created on environmental concerns. Oats were chosen as a substitute for plenty of reasons. They're great for soil regeneration, they can be grown almost anywhere, and they're healthy. Founder of Oatly, Rickard Ost, created oat milk back in 1990, and he has said when he proposed his product to the milk industry, he was laughed out of the room. But oat milk has gone on to outpace all other milk segments by a long shot. Whether it's whole, light, skimmed, even the alternatives like soy or almond milk. The market value is expected to grow at a 13% compound annual growth rate until 2027 for oat milk, while the others are stagnating or declining. So as the founder himself says, Who's laughing now? On the financial front, Oatly has $403 million in cash sitting on the sidelines ready to invest. That's a sizable chunk for a business valued at a little less than $5 billion. The company also saw significant year-over-year -year growth across all of its primary regions in the most recent Q3 report. Its largest segment, Europe, grew revenues by 23% to $87 million. The Americas regional revenue grew 87.3% to $50 million and revenue generated in Asia grew 98.2% to $34 million. While the company has noted the impact of supply chain constraints, management says they are continuing to drive conversion from dairy to the plant-based milk category, supporting our mission towards a more sustainable food system. And that just about wraps it all up. If you're already taking an ESG approach to your investments, let us know what your picks are in the comments below. Or if you're just getting started, you can head over to the free My Wall Street app and check out the types of companies we see as great long-term investments and see our daily commentary or investing tips. We'll leave that link in the description. We've linked all of our resources that can help you get started investing below this video, so be sure to check them out. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you can see more of our investment content as soon as it's released. Until next time, happy investing.